Um, he had he was playing Wing Zero earlier. Was he? And uh, really good, like fundamental type stuff. That's right. Like Street Fighter stuff. Mm -hmm. Shenlong is is pretty different. Um, best way I can describe Shenlong. Uh, I'm trying to think of a good analogy. Well, I know you Zed maybe. Okay. The big the big long reaching stuff sure, to sure. shut down people's yep. attacks. Uh, all I know is that you must defeat Shenlong to stand a chance. And that's not entirely untrue. Yeah. That's actually not even like a pun. That's <laughs> that's pretty plain out. <laughs> that's laid out quite clearly, but uh, so far to be more crazy, uh, Charles is playing the classic wing. This is the equivalent of playing Shoto in this game. Mm. And even though that good OTG stuff. No kidding. But you're, you're gonna be seeing nothing quite as crazy as what Relento was doing, but all the same stuff that shows you the yeah. mechanic the mechanic uniqueness of Gundam Wing in terms of neutral. That looked really familiar to me because uh, back in Northern California, there's a Myung Kim who plays Gundam Wing, and he was doing a lot of the wing stuff where it's just like, you know, button, button, hit him again, OTG boost, launch up, kind of safe jump off of that. That that looks like something I've seen before. Ooh. I have not seen the, you know, the super long one-touch combos, uh, but I have seen that sort of OTG setup we're seeing from Charles. What I really liked from that last set was how Charles was also playing a neutral game where there were some really good footsies there towards the end. So this is where uh, MSU was playing last time. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be interesting to see how MSU responds, because this is a character that is more MSC speed from what I've seen, the, the neutral stuff. So, mm -hmm. as many people know, Charles is one of the national veterans of this particular era of fighting games. Right. I've been to his house, I've seen many of uh, the DOS fighting games I thought lost to time, <laughs> and we have spoken in great detail about them. So this is something that... Uh, well, let's go MSC. Yeah, MSC made it happen. So, Charles does have all the experience, at the same time, MST is bringing like a clear set of fundamentals that kind of apply to many fighting games. Yeah. Um, the, the Shoto game is definitely appealing more because MST beat his last opponent just playing the neutral game. Mm -hmm. And that puts pressure on Charles to establish it of his own and try not to overextend himself. Right. Yeah, one thing's for sure, MST is just very good at fighting games. You see another super landing there. This And that's going to be where Charles needs to be careful, because that was something we kind of criticized MST for the last time we saw him on stream. Ooh. MST would kind of leave some of these whiffs um, unpunished, but now that's not happening. He is on point with punishing these moves that oh, wow. Charles might be trying to throw out. Oh, oh no, that was oh. it. You saw right there, he tried to punch him his own, but didn't get far enough. No! <laughs> MST, you needed that round. That was a good Oki right there. So Charles is now on set point. And let's see how MST responds, because you saw the good down right there, jump in. He caught a lot of people last time with that mm. jump in. Mm -hmm. MST is going to try and lock the corner as quickly as he can by making you uh, making you do a move it with because he's already jumping, and then catch you on the jump in. Yeah. Oh, so is that Dragon Punch and then Boost Cancel? Um, no, that's Sweep and Boost Cancel. Sweep and Boost Cancel, okay. okay. Oh, no, he locked. All right, yeah, there you go. So you saw Charles kind of like backed away for a bit. He had a feeling something was coming like that. Right. You, you don't want to lose your men. Oh, no, he wanted to finish. Thankfully, it did. Charles okay. moves forward 2 nothing. Good games, good games. Okay, I'll, I'll pass the mic back over. That's fun. That's fun. Thanks for having me. It was good to finally meet you, Dasset. Yeah. Keep up the good work nice of uh, my boy Cino Blue. I'll, I'll see how it goes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I All had to call him over because uh, I recognize him from Battle for the Good community. That's cool. No worries. No worries. Yeah, he played uh, my anchor, Sino Blue. Oh, nice. So, we, and be that character is not exactly like the common one, like Zed, you right. kind of have a kinship. Absolutely. That's what's up. I really love what you did with uh, Death Scythe there. Thank you. Thank that, you. that was that I was had nasty. to readjust. I couldn't use my arcade sticks. I had to use the one that was there. And then I started, you know, let me break this thing out. I don't know if many people know what this is. 